The mass of an object and its weight are different things. Here we'll show you how mass, weight, and gravity are related. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. If we compare a small boy and a semi-truck, the truck contains more matter than the boy, so the truck has a larger mass than the boy. Weight is the pull of gravity or force of gravity on an object. For an object on or near Earth, it is the force pulling the object toward Earth. If we compare objects on Earth, the more mass an object has, the greater the force of gravity on it, or the greater weight it has. In other words, less mass means less weight, and more mass means more weight. So the truck has a greater weight than the boy. Because weight is a force, it is measured in units of force called newtons, abbreviated with a capital N. Weight is equal to mass in kilograms times something called the acceleration of gravity, measured in newtons per kilogram. The value for the acceleration of gravity depends on the mass of the planet or moon the object is on or near. On Earth, the acceleration of gravity is equal to 9.8 newtons per kilogram. We can use a capital W to stand for weight, a lowercase m to stand for mass, and a lowercase g to stand for acceleration of gravity. So now we can just use these letters to give us an abbreviated form of this equation. The equation is W equals m times g, where W stands for the weight in newtons, m stands for the mass in kilograms, and g stands for the acceleration of gravity in newtons per kilogram. Here's an example question. We're given that a black bear has a mass of 190 kilograms, and we're asked for its weight. It is important to know that for any questions involving mass and weight, if you are not told otherwise, assume that the object in question is on the surface of the Earth. We're asked to calculate the weight, and we're given mass, so we use the equation W equals m times g where W is the weight in newtons, m is the mass in kilograms, and g is the acceleration of gravity in newtons per kilogram. The question tells us that the bear has a mass of 190 kilograms. So we can substitute 190 kilograms in for mass. It is known that the value for g on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So we can substitute 9.8 newtons per kilogram in for g in this equation. 190 times 9.8 is equal to 1862. We can see that the unit kilograms is in the numerator and the denominator, so they can be cancelled out, leaving us with only newtons as a unit. So the unit for our answer is in newtons. So W is equal to 1862 newtons. And we can state the final answer as the weight of a 190 kilogram bear is 1862 newtons.